Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today's episode is all about my studio slash office workspace and the gear that I use. I've had a few people inquire about my setup, so I thought I'd show some special gratitude on this occasion of the 300 subscriber to this channel, for which I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you. And use the opportunity to give you a quick guided tour of my office. This is what the room looks like, spinning around slowly from the door all the way back around to the door again. This is my office. It doubles as a studio, workspace, and during the recent COVID lockdowns, my work from home space as well. Here's a plan of the room, for those of you that like looking at it from that perspective. The room itself is just 1.9 by 2.7 meters, and it sits inside my garage. I also have some space just outside the door where I store some of my projects and also have another workspace. It's a tight squeeze. The rest of the garage is taken up by my brother's living space and a workshop where I have some woodworking type projects that I do as well. I really do struggle to fit everything in. Admittedly, I do have a bunch of old stuff that might just be useful one day, but to be honest, it's surprising how often it is actually useful to someone. To give you an idea, at the time of recording, I have three different laptops that I'm just in the process of fixing for various people, with another two waiting in the queue. Various things like updating hard drives to SSDs, upgrading RAM, and just general machine cleanups. That sort of work either happens out on the outer workspace or on the left-hand edge of my desk, which is literally just here. Around from this is my computer setup. The main computer that I use is a Lenovo ThinkPad L390 Yoga, connected to two old HP Compaq LA2205WG monitors. These are really nice screens that I plug into the laptop, one into the HDMI port of the laptop via a HDMI to DVI cable. The second is a VGA cable into the A-Logic 6-in-1 USB-C hub that I talked about in an episode a few weeks ago. I also have an ordinary wired Microsoft keyboard and mouse. Next to and slightly behind the laptop is my video editing desktop. This is an old Core i5-4460 desktop with 12 gigs of RAM, a 256 gigabyte SSD and a three terabyte spinning drive. The keyboard is a Belkin ergonomic keyboard and an old HP mouse. The screen is a BenQ 2440. Basically, this whole PC was given to me by somebody who was cleaning out an old office and didn't want it anymore. I went, beauty, I'll find a use for that. And I did. The camera rig in front of me is a Canon D550 DSLR with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Mounted on the top of that is a Tacstar SGC598 shotgun microphone to pick up all of my audio. Four downlights light the room. And for shooting, I have an LED panel light in front of me that I made myself, plus an oval reflector sitting on my knees to help light up underneath my eyes. This is all held up by a couple of old tripods that I've had for decades. And when I'm not filming, it all sits just up against the wall off to my right here. Really handy so I can have it ready to go whenever I need it, but far enough out of the way that I can actually get the rest of my work done. The things behind me you can see. Filing cabinet full of documents, projects and spare parts, my printer, my TARDIS, my bookshelf with all of my friends on it, and over near the door, a pile of stuff that I really need to clean up. It's a simple setup because to me, I believe that the content that I'm giving you is the value. I don't think lots of pretty lights and a 4K camera would actually help all that much. Would I love more space, better gear and more time? Yeah, sure, but that will happen over time. For now, I can work with what I've got and build up. When I started this channel nearly three years ago, I bought the StarTag mic straight up because I believe good audio is really important. In those days, I had my iPhone 7 on the tripod with the StarTag mic plugged into it. That was how I recorded everything for the first 65 episodes or a bit over one year. That's when I bought the Canon DSLR and then I added the lights and the reflector in a little later on. So that's my setup. Question of the day. What do you think of my basic setup? What do you think I need to upgrade next? And do you have any other questions for me? Let me know in the comments down below. 
And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. We learn about the technology, protect you from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you're not already subscribed, click the logo down here and subscribe to the channel and then press the bell icon to be notified of any new episodes as they come out. I also have a newsletter that I release once a month and you can subscribe to that right up the top here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.